Okay. <laughs> What's up, YouTube family? Um, uh, we are back. Uh, we we want to show this special episode. It's a part two. It's a part two of Avatar: The Way of Water. As uh, if if you guys don't know yet. The way of too big. The way of the way of too big. <laughs> Later, neon. But if if you guys don't know yet, we were uh, wow invited. Very invited. We're very lucky enough to be invited to the press junket in London uh, back in December, which was more than a month ago. Back in 2022. Wow, wow, wow. Alayo. <laughs> Alayo. And um, right now, it's it's the second week of January, and hey. It's Pe raked up how much? No, pe people are loving the movie. And uh, similar reactions also. Like, people are just crying. They're, they're, I, they're bawling, uh -oh. you know. And, and it is just highly emotional because of its re relatability. Yes. Without a doubt, it wasn't just our, like, it, personal yeah, it review. No, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't just something, yeah, that... Uh, it's nice to know that so people ito, also ito loved it. So, valid, may validation ng content. Because it's not true. I was telling people, hey, expectation is this. This. You know what I think? And it's kind of hard to set that standard it's, 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 and to it's set so that hard. bar. Because it's like, yeah. you, want them to, you want them also to enjoy it, but then you don't want them to expect so much that yeah. they end up being disappointed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, I'd like this, to think that Hindi should like disappoint. Anyway, um, for this video, it's pretty much we want to show uh, our experience interviewing the cast, some of yes. the cast members. Because we weren't really able to show you guys that. Yeah, you got a bit on 24 horas, but of course, mm. um, it doesn't justify the the four minutes. Yes, four minutes. Yeah. The four minutes actually, that we actually. Actually, there are six minutes. I saw. Um, and there, yeah. there are some. Depends because it's a usap. May iba nga na ten minutes lang. So we were lucky even mm. just to get our four minutes of one to one and one time right. with uh, with these uh, personalities. Okay, so we we can start it off with in chronological order. Yeah, chronological. The, the first producer that you. Uh, well, first interview. of all, we were hoping to go in as, as a, a couple, team, as, as a, a couple, team. as we, Life with Arellanos. Yeah, so we, we, we were invited as Life with Arellanos, but apparently, um, you know, logistically, it was hard because... They you have know, to do two camp setup, yeah, uh, two person setup. Two, two person setup, so eventually we decided na one, 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 one. Because uh -oh. Jahi naman, parang ipapaantay namin si Kate Winslet para lang iset up yung camera pang dalawang tao. Right. <laughs> so, so anyway... So we're like, okay, so okay. let's just decide who's gonna go in for who. How, how was, <laughs> I know, just, of course... We're not going to talk much about uh, the interviews, but just a brief, I know. How was John Landau, the producer? He was like a teddy bear that I just wanted to hug. So easy to talk to. So easy. Because I was and also there. Eh? I mean, of course, not on cam, but I was just like Watching listening. from the side. Uh -oh. But he was just so pleasant, um, very charming, very um, engaging. Mm -hmm. That's what I loved about him. But yeah. I thought it, it felt light and easy talking to him and I think you guys will be able to see that uh, in our interview. Please enjoy. Oh my goodness, John Landau, thank you so much for producing such a beautiful film. My question is, why did you want to take us on that roller coaster of emotions? Look, life is a roller coaster of emotions and when, when art can imitate life, uh, it also can inspire life and, and hopefully through what we're doing with the film and showing the trials and tribulations of a family and what are the sacrifices, but also from a teenager's perspective. Uh -huh. A teenager who's struggling to find their own identity um, and you know, making mistakes along the way, but the parents still seeing them for who they are. Mm -hmm. That's a really important message. It, wow, and, and it's amazing how, because we also come from a family of having four kids. So the way that we related to that movie, yeah, it was just it, like, why? <laughs> but everybody has a family, whether it's four kids yeah, exactly. or three kids or one Absolutely. kid or no kids. You, you had a family because you, you were here, you exist. Absolutely. And there's no more universal theme than family. And, and by in involving people, we get to expose audiences to not just the themes of family, mm -hmm. but the themes of our world and the yeah. environment, the themes of diverse cultures, the themes of you know becoming refugees. The Sullys become refugees. Yeah. And they have to go and try and survive in a world where they're not comfortable so all right John as a producer of course you're working with with a budget but you know when tech when technology comes in and it's technology that you need how do you go about 
you know, having to spend money on technology that you need, but then also the restrictions that you have? You know, I think of uh, what we do when we go to Pandora. Pandora's a moon. When NASA here in the United States decide to go to the moon, they're going to a place nobody had ever gone before. Mm -hmm. You don't have all the answers when you're starting out at the beginning. We have to solve those problems. And to do that, sometimes we need to spend money wisely to accomplish that. Sometimes we can make sacrifices financially that don't compromise the ultimate goal. That's the balance. Okay. All right. Now, I, I was, I'm just curious. Did you ever have to go underwater? So did I ever have to? I love going underwater. For the so, movie? I, I went underwater when we were rehearsing in the rainforest with Hawaii with the cast. All right. And we went on some shallow snorkel dives for them to experience the reef. And we did that with breath holding. And then we did a night dive where we went on scuba gear. We took the cast who was certified down to the bottom. And we did perhaps the most Pandoran thing you can do on Earth. We went with giant manta rays. Wow. And these bohemians came out of the darkness. They swam over us. The cast would reach out to touch them. Awesome. And then when Sigourney goes back onto the stage, you saw the scene yeah. where the, the stingray of the Pandoran waters yes. comes by her and she reaches out. Mm -hmm. She was conjuring up what she felt that night. Yeah. And she, she got to do that there. OK, last question. When you are under the water, what is the one thing that you wish to see? And what is the one thing that you fear you will see? Look, I think the one thing that, that I wish to see is some species of fish that I've never seen before. Such as? I've never been with a whale shark. OK. You know, and they are these giant, gentle bohemus of the ocean. We have those in the Philippines. I, I'll, I'll have to come. <laughs> I, I've, I've been with, with, you know, sperm whales in Dominica. I've been mm -hmm. with giant codfish in, in you know, um, Australia. I've been with, you know, jellyfish, a swarm in, in Micronesia. Uh, but I've never been with, you know, the, the, the one thing I fear uh, would, would be a great white. Um, <laughs> and I, I was in a... a, a a cage uh, uh, sit with in South Africa okay. uh, with, with great whites. Yes, they do that. I, I, I did not even feel comfortable in the cage, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, thank you so much thank for you your time. Much. Thank you, I'm thank glad you. you we the hope movie. that you Recognize. come visit us in the Philippines. I would too. love to, that would be great. There you go. Deba, Deba. Hagabal. <laughs> <laughs> Deba, Hagabal, and he just, but he's just. Can I hug you? <laughs> I mean, if it weren't just for COVID, I probably would have asked him. If, yeah. If, uh, if I could, but yeah, so that, that's him. Super. Now the next one was... Stephen Lang. Stephen Lang. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I, I, the Drew and I, when we were, the night before our interviews and we sat down to talk about, you know, what the questions sure. we would ask, Drew and I had so much we wanted to talk to Stephen Lang of, about. Of course, because we, we had to Google, right? You know, the first Avatar, uh, Quaritch was like this. Like, yeah, medyo old looking, but really buffed up, bu buffed up na, na character. And then when I checked, he was already like aged. Like seven, like what, 60 something? Yes, yeah, six, I think fi 59 when it came out. Uh huh. He was, wow. And after 13 years, tama ba? After 13 years? Or like 10 years? No, 2009 yung Avatar, 2022. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 13 years, he still. Pretty. He still looked so good. Like, he doesn't age. And of course, I mean, being fitness fitness buffs or fitness freaks. Yeah. Um, of course, we want to ask how do you not age? Oh, no, Where's no, the no, fountain no, 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 of youth? That's right. They don't want to watch But anyway, please enjoy Stephen Lang. <laughs> Stephen Lang, oh my goodness. You look so good. I, I was just wondering, I mean, I think we should stop the interview right there. What? I like that. <laughs> that's that's the right way to wrap things up. I mean, looking back at the avatar that you did back, back in 2009, 10 years later, not to mention 10 years older mm -hmm. also, yeah. what did you find yourself doing now that you never imagined you would do? Well, after I did Avatar, that's a good question. After, when we wrapped on the original Avatar, I was so beat up. 
that I could not, literally, could not lift my left arm above my shoulder. Wow, okay. I was in bad shape. I was very big, and I looked like I was very strong, and I was strong, but I was very fragile, and I was very brittle. Okay. So what I did was I began to study yoga, and now I have been doing yoga now for over 12 years, and I can lift my left arm above oh, my shoulder. Wonderful. So I could, and as a, look, as a young guy, uh, being an old gym rat, I never would have imagined myself doing yoga. I didn't conceive of myself oh, in that right, way at okay. all. But it's really because of Avatar, because playing Quaritch said it forced me to do it, and now I'll do it for the rest of my life. So that's that's the answer to that question. Okay, actually, you know what, I, because both my husband and I, uh, we, we're big on working out, mm -hmm. we're big on healthy lifestyles, so, I mean, how to be you how to live such a healthy life and to be able to enjoy this life with, with your children, with your mm. grandchildren. Yeah. What is your lifestyle? I take a lot of naps. <laughs> Rest <laughs> really is the secret. I, I, eat, I try to eat good, I try to work out good, I try to play with my kids, I try to keep my mind active. I, try to, I used to try to memorize something every day. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't do, I don't do that anymore. I forget to do that now. <laughs> uh, but pretty much that's, I just want to keep working and uh, you know, stay active, that's all. Back to the movie, all of that underwater work that you had to do, uh -huh. what was the hardest thing for you? Well, the water work is difficult. The breath hold uh, yeah. is, uh, is challenging, and then uh, it's challenging to fight underwater, f certainly. It's, uh, um, and the, so that was hard, the, the stuff with Sam, uh, when we were having our yes. fight underwater. That was tough, but um, uh, you know, somehow we managed. It was tough for both of us, so, so there you go. What was the darkest place it took you mentally? darkest place he is I, I would think it probably is in the moment when I hold uh, my own skull uh, in in my hand and uh, and and really have sort of that existential moment where I really realize what I re it's the first time I really cop to the fact that I was someone and now and that someone is dead and now I'm someone new. That's, a, that's an odd place to go. Yeah. But I will say that Korich is by nature, even though I know he occupies a dark role in this saga, mm -hmm. he's, not, he's not a creature of darkness. He, in his own way, he's a very forward thinking, he's very, he's very positive in his own way, mm -hmm. and he's even optimistic in his way because he always feels that he can succeed at his mission. You know, so he doesn't spend a whole lot of time uh, in the darkness. He's okay. able to kind of cauterize that away. He's seen too much bad crap mm -hmm. happen back on Earth and up on. He's seen he's he's seen too many of his comrades uh, die, okay. and so he sort of cauterized that right. part of his soul. Adiba. Oh, so how good does he look? Feeling good breast milk. You can your moisturizer. I swear, he has found the fountain of youth. Not only that, the demeanor was so easy. Like, like, kulang na lang, big fist bump kayo. Oh. You know that vibe he gave. Like, yeah. ano lamang kung sante na ko na alio because you know when I asked him, you know, what did you find yourself doing for this that you never imagined you'd be doing? I thought he'd go about like I, I didn't see myself doing these action whatever. No. No. I didn't find myself doing yoga. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And so, parang for me, it tells me, because love, of course, this is something that we're looking up to him, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if there's something that he's practicing and looks like he's working, but for me, it's telling me that, you know, I guess the time really will come when we're going to be looking for something that's going to kind of calm our mind and our body. Yeah, yeah. Just as he has, because that's where it's taken him to where he is now and look yeah. how good Super. he he looks. Now All right, the, next. Next one was Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. Um, how is Kate so Winslet? We decided that Drew would go in for this one. Mm. So Kate Winslet was, um, I think I mentioned, uh, the term was for me was, was very royal and very prim and proper. Uh -huh. I wanted the mood probably to be also it, better, but at the same time... It wasn't what you were hoping for and expecting. It's okay. But, you, but I it, mean, every okay. press junket, you just have to be ready for this. Because again, yeah. with these press junkets, you don't know how many days they've yeah. actually been having to answer the same questions, yep. different questions. You know, 
these artists get tired. Super tired. Diba? Super t- and, and it's multi-day, multi, multi-country yeah. type of promotion. Because this film is huge. Yeah. So I'm sure they also have, you know, mentally it's it's tiring and physically as yes, well. Yes, yes. But, but she looked like a doll. She looked like, she, she looked very pretty. Um, she was very nice. So yeah, please enjoy my interview with Kate Winslet. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Two hours ago, it was our first time to watch the film, of course. I haven't we, seen it. You haven't seen it? No, I'm seeing it tomorrow. Okay, so we got so emotional because we it was so relatable to my family because we have four kids. Oh, wow. And I'm sure you know the story, of course, but it was so... It was a roller coaster of emotions. I just know that I'm going to be overwhelmed by it because I'm so excited. <laughs> I I really am curious to see how my character looks and how much of my real self I can see in Ronal. Right. I'm very excited. The themes of family and motherhood and sticking together mm. as a as a community, those were things that were really important to me when I read the script and and I know that um they are so much at the heart of what Avatar is as a story. So yeah, I just know I'm going to be very overwhelmed by all of it. What was more challenging for you, doing the 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 accent or just being underwater? I heard that you did a uh, static for like seven minutes and twenty seconds. How, what, what was the process? Seven minutes and fourteen seconds. Fourteen seconds. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Um, that was an extra six you gave me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, actually, to be honest, the learning how to breath hold was an amazing experience, and I really loved it. I was I wasn't afraid of it. I was excited by it. Um, I love a physical challenge like that, and no, I loved that side of it, and was kind of amazed at how good I became. I just never thought that would happen. Um, learning the accent was very difficult. There were lots of elements that brought different challenges to me, but. Um, it was amazing, you know, surrounded by such an incredible group of people um, and really being inspired every day by what they had all created 13 right. years ago and being sort of welcomed into that world was really amazing. If you were to go like underwater, what would you like to see and what would you fear in like in seeing? Well, I can scuba dive. and I, I love scuba diving. What would I fear seeing? Great white? I think, oh, I would fear seeing a great white. I would fear seeing um, the Humboldt squid. I would definitely fear seeing oh. that, for sure. Um, I would love to see, I would love to see a humpback whale. Ooh, yes. I would absolutely love that. I've seen sharks, I've seen lots and lots and lots of sharks. Mm-hmm. Um, and that doesn't scare me, actually. Okay. It's, it's such a, it's such a privilege to see what's down there because Super. who knows how Holy long it's all, who, know, who knows how long it's all going to be there for right. um yeah so no i love to be underwater awesome so yun um yep nope she wasn't uh naked like in titanic <laughs> <laughs> and i wasn't expecting but, but that you know too. what but you know i'm sure nakakaaliw din that you know that he's that she's working on another film with with James Cameron mm-hmm. and then also with the water feature correct yeah diba? absolutely so it kind of does i'm sure it, it brought back memories, memories for her and not only that diba? i mean she did like crazy minutes with she, static underwater she hold, held, breath holding she held her 7, 14, breath the longest yeah something like that yeah, 7, 7 minutes 14 or something 14? something like that crazy but, how crazy, yeah, right? Crazy. That's what James mm-hmm. Neal was saying. About him, you know, Which was your next um, interview. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Who, again, was another... Okay, so here's another thing. Um, of course, we were dealing with jet lag. Mm. So this is another factor that you need to consider. <laughs> when you go to these other countries and <clears throat> talk to these artists, you're, you're not running on your time and yeah. your body clock, but you're running on their time or and, and you the time of that country. That and you don't in. have time <clears throat> to adjust. You just normally. Well, I just adjust. <laughs> so yeah, um, me being, I guess, the more. Yeah, I've always been the. I've always been so much you, so giddy. Yeah, no, and, no, you, 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 you. Or maybe I work better. You, you with, operate better with lack of sleep than I do. Not, not. Yeah, I'm. I might not work better with lack of sleep, but. You Probably work it. better than you, yeah. Yeah, you, you handle it better. <laughs> <When>? <laughs> so with James Cameron, it's all funny because 
I know Drew was really. Oh, I'm such a fan. Before even when this just came in as an inquiry. Right. Like of course I I don't get I don't get myself worked up until I'm actually there. Drew was already like love. Okay, so I was thinking this is what we can ask James Cameron, and so clearly I could see how how excited Drew was, and also because I feel that. I knew the Because films more. He and knows the films more. I was connected with scuba diving. Yes, and James. And James and everything, everything. Like so I knew that Drew was excited for James super, Cameron. So super. we decided that he would also do um, James Cameron. But and, I, I, and I didn't want to take. I was telling you, you after know what? Kate. I don't want to take the risk because my energy is so low. I don't want to f this interview yeah. up. So buta na lang, we actually thought of the questions already. Yeah. Um, and you ha you had that you had that the energy the energy <laughs> you, you know uh, you had the energy to, to to talk to the great man and which I love which love which is also why I love our partnership absolutely because we take, can help each, can other, help out each other out in yeah. that way super because again this is a team effort super. and so Windrew was like love you know what you do it and I was like okay I'll do it hmm. and na alu lang ako kasi you know I'm not as well I'm not as knowledgeable as Drew is mm -hmm. when it comes to movies when it comes to I mean love clearly hello yeah I had to ask you who George Clooney was <laughs> and Sandra Bullock who I love and I was like who's that? I was like oh right. that's Sandra Bullock nga pala pa bolito ko nga pala siya right oh so <laughs> okay but with uh with James Cameron I guess na alu lang ako kasi parang I because of Drew na intindihan ko The grand, the grandeur yeah. of who this person was in front of me. Yeah, if, if we hadn't discussed, then you would it, it would be just a normal person in front of you. Like I, I would have, I would have done the research, but like but with I, the information I, that I got from you and with with so much enthusiasm. Yes, mm. I, I, it mm. really. It's pretty much. It's pretty much like, ah, look, uh, it's a it's a basketball player. No. That's Michael Jordan, and Michael Jordan did this, did that, uh -oh, did this, and this. Uh -oh. so you're like, whoa! Wow! And then you know, and then of course, I mean, I think about Titanic, yeah. And then you know, I think about the first Avatar, mm -hmm. and then you know, and then you tell me about that he was the only person that went down that 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 trench, Mar Mariana the, Trench, the Mariana Trench. Mm -hmm. So, of course, when you when you put all of these into consideration, then you're looking at this person all the more just like. Wow. Yeah. James Cameron. Yeah, and, and that's your intro. <laughs> and and his face is like, what? Who's this? Hold on. I'm fast in the gym. You're gonna watch this. Please enjoy James Cameron. First Ready? of all, James Cameron. My goodness, <laughs> I was not warned about having to prepare tissue oh, right. in watching Avatar. How could you pull all these heartstrings in me? Tell me, was there a life event um, that ha that that you went through that that pulled the strings in your heart to want to tell this story? Sure, my my whole life, you know, from being from being a teenage kid, you know, and not feeling like I really fit in, to then being a father of teenagers, and seeing how, you know, sometimes they struggled at school or with, you know, their sense of their identity and mm -hmm. all those things. I mean, it's a tough time for people, right? Yeah. For all of us. Um, and I wanted to tell that story. So when you go in, you think, oh, it's an Avatar movie. It's going to be Jake and Natiri and sort of maybe a little bit about their kids. And then you realize it's It's about the kids, yes. right? And then the whole family comes crashing back together at the end, the end of the movie in ways that are, you know, like you said, kind of quite heart wrenching. Yes. And yeah. So my goal in this film was to do the same degree of spectacle, the same degree of, you know, kind of immersive. You go to live in this in this amazing world with yeah. all its detail, right? But to go beyond that, to have the kind of emotional response that you don't normally associate with a big production, you know, big effects kind of movie. Yeah, and I suppose all of your diving experience sure. is what influenced you in taking well, it this route. I think it was less of an influence and more about just experience like I could bring to it to make it all look right mm -hmm. and, and real, because I've spent an awful lot of time at sea and underwater and all that sort of thing, so I could work with the computer artists and make sure that it looked as real as possible. Actually, speaking of which, I mean, how do you plan on t 
topping this with what you with what you were able to achieve here in Avatar. And man, I understand why now you want everyone to experience it in 3D. If How they can, if they can, if they can, I'm I'm happy with if they see it. If they don't like, if somebody doesn't like 3D, just go see it in 2D. It's easy, you know. It's still a beautiful movie, and you're still gonna cry. All the all the more in 3D. <laughs> but there's, but I also want to remind people what the theater experience can be mm -hmm. at its at its best, yes. right? That's important to me. Okay. Uh, and hopefully this film can can do that. Uh, but your question is, how do you keep topping yourself? Yes. I think we don't have to now. If this movie works, it's going to work because we care about these people, right? You didn't mm -hmm. cry because, you know, you liked the way the skim wing looked, right? <laughs> oh, we <I> did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. My point is, if you like these people, you just want to see what happens next. So we have to maintain quality. We have to continue to bring in new elements and continue to create wonder and amazement and all that. But we don't have to, I don't even know what topping means. We just keep doing what we're doing. Okay. Right? We just keep doing what we're doing, and you can come back to this world and come back to these people again in movie three and then movie four if we get that far. Mm -hmm. you know? Is actually, is there something, is there technology that you're waiting on nope. before you can? We got what we You've need. got everything that you we're, need. And I don't want to sound smug, but we developed, we took five years to develop a suite of technology that we knew could do all four, oh, awesome. all four sequels. Awesome. Right? Okay, what my husband would love to know is, you have these grand ideas. How, where do you begin and how do you not get overwhelmed? It can be overwhelming. You know, there's times when it just feels like it's too much. We had 3,250 VFX shots. I have to put my faith in other people on the team. So Weta Effects, the people down in, in New Zealand that, that I work with, they had 1,200 people working on this movie. So I have to put my faith in them to be able to do all that. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are times when you think you're not you're not going to get it done. And then the pandemic hit. Yeah. And we were shut down for four months. And that was a scary time. But you just have to you have to have faith in the team. You have to have faith in the process that it will work. You know, and okay. it works. All right. Lastly, if you could just say water in Tagalog, which is um, the mm -hmm. Philippine yeah. language, yeah. it's all it is is too big. Too big. Yeah. So too if you big. could just say, too big. Okay. Jim Cameron here. Too big. Thank and that's you so water much. in Tagalog. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. If you could just say water in our language, in Tagalog, it's just too big. Could you do that for me? Sure. Is that okay? Just, it's of just called too would. big. Yeah. I would just say too big. Spot on. The way of too big. Yes. Exactly. You, <laughs> Thank you, you so much. How do you say the way of water in, in um, Filipino? Sa daan ng tubig. Sa, sa daan tubig. Nang tubig. Nang tubig. Yeah. Sa daan nang tubig. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you so much for your time. And it was such a beautiful film. Nobody warned me that I should have brought tissue. Yeah, you got to do it. Tell your, tell your people you're going to weep. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Can you just say the translation of, of water? In, in, in my language, Filipino. Oh, let me try. Uh, it just, it's too big. It's like too big, but it's too big. Too big. Yeah, too big. Too big. That's it. Did I do it? Yeah, you did it. Did That's I get it, it good? Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You so much. Thank, you. thank you. Lovely meeting you. Thank you so much. Didn't my husband is such a fan. Okay. It's just jet lag is hitting him real bad right now. He was supposed to be the one in here. Uh, oh. And I was like, love, you want me to do it? <laughs> oh, poor baby. But yeah. oh, no. <laughs> no, but really, I mean. You seem okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my, uh, my eyes are having such a hard time because I didn't expect to cry so much. Oh, okay. Well, take, take, tell everybody, you know, uh, on your show to bring Kleenex. Uh, absolutely, I will. Thank you so much, James. Thank you so much for your time. The Life of Double Piano's Podcast. I'm Yeon's house. <laughs>